Hey gang, it's Sebastian here with Ivan Jacqueline from Parfums de Marley. And we have the latest fragrance, Kalan. Is it Kalan or Kalan? Kalan. Kalan. And we're going to preview it for you. And we're going to offer our own opinions of the fragrance. But what I'm going to do is spray it and have Yvonne tell me about the fragrance and what he experiences. And then I'll do the same. Is sure. that cool? How's it going for you here? Very good. Very Fantastic. good. It's always happy to be in Cannes. It's this beautiful uh, surrounding, meeting all our partners in, uh, in the world. And it's actually the first time we meet. Today. I know. Huh? First and, time. Uh, I'm honored and thank you so much for, for your passion. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about this before you smell it. Well, you know, Kalan, to my point of view, is, is really the perfect balance between freshness, beautiful opening, and strength, you know? Uh, it's always the challenge is not to be, to have a great longevity. The challenge is, is easy if you use a lot of wood and a component that will give a lot of strength. But to have the persistence, the trade, and the refined, the fresh opening, the appealing part of it, this is the most complicated thing mm -hmm. to, to create. And I believe we achieved a fantastic balance between the freshness and the strength. Okay. We, we, with it, without being it too overwhelming, but just perfectly tuned. That's really how I, I feel uh, what Kalan is. Okay. Right. Cool. So what's your opinion? Because right. that's what so I would love to discover is what I think about it. What you think about it. Okay. So to me, um, I, sp I smell it right away. There is a lot of freshness around it, but immediately I'm getting lots of deepness. So what you're saying about the balance of freshness and the strength, mm -hmm. it's exactly what I get. Um, it's not trying to be too heavy, it's not trying to be too fresh, and it's finding the right balance. I get a lot of like citrusy notes in the top, mm -hmm. which is from the bloody orange. Blood orange, okay. Yeah. And is that why the bottle is red? Yeah, yeah. Blood orange. And there are some woody touches. The woody touches don't seem to be dry. They seem to be more on the creamy, maybe slightly milky side. Yeah. Do we have sandalwood here. There are sandalwood. There is sandalwood, of course, patchouli, and I believe the the fantastic ingredient in it doing that warm and creamy aspect mm -hmm. might be the oak moss. You okay. know, the moss that you have down the trees, around yeah. the trees, giving a bit of earthy, date, touch of green touch. And that is helping it to really have this balance between the strength, mm -hmm. the woody part, and the freshness. Yeah. When you mentioned earthy, I was about to say, this is very, very earthy. There's also slight ozonic undertones coming yes. through, so there's like a little wetness there. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily it's not necessarily like a conventional fragrance, but it's also very lovely to wear. It's very musky to me when I was yeah, wearing it absolutely. earlier. Absolutely. Yeah, so this is Callan from Parfums de Marley, and we're coming from Cannes, uh, TFWA. This is my first time here, and this is my first time meeting you. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are curious to try this one, do try it as it's available currently, right? Yeah, it's about to be uh, available in uh, in Nordstrom and uh, Bloomingdale's here in US. And uh, I believe within one, two weeks, you will be able to, to discover it in your nearest uh, department store. We do have as well, as you know, a few uh, uh, independent perfumery, uh, niche perfumery carrying the brand. So. Don't hesitate to reach out to as well to the to the boutique in New York and ask where you can try it. And don't hesitate to try on your skin. It's really phenomenal. I, I really adore it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And guess what, guys? Soon, San Francisco Nordstroms is going to be carrying Parfums de Marley. So go and check them out there. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a good one. Ciao, everybody. I am Paolo Terenzi, the nose and creator and the brother of Tiziano and Terenzi, by the way, that uh, we are launching here in Cannes in our yacht that is called Super Fun. And you can meet the meeting. I party all night, so I need to be tired for that. And uh, we are here to present uh, the new collection that is inspired by one of the, my most um, experience and passion, sailing. I'm a captain. I'm a sailor. I have a beautiful boat and I love to live on board. And the inspiration came from a, a special present that Tiziana did for when I turned 50. So the, the star 
of the, and the moon that we created for the lunar collection now they are becoming a sea star and uh, you see the new line uh, is uh, inspired by this uh, beautiful uh, Atlantida and Atlantis we are looking for again uh, the treasure of this uh, uh, lost city and the deep of the ocean sailing around all the oceans so here we have uh, the, the four new fragrances that will be available next year so it's a really the first time that they will be presented we have been working for three years in order to arrive uh, and some kind of technical issues that they should be solved and the specific part of the fragrances because the fragrances are not built in like a normal way with a pyramid with top note, uh, art note, uh, bottom note uh, but uh, we are trying to follow the floating uh, effects when you stay on the, on the boat the feeling that you are floating and you feel the waves that they touch uh, the boat or, or your body when you swim so the fragrances are moving to another direction you don't have a, an exactly olfactive family but you touch more than one and it's in a very special experience i hope that you will enjoy it soon in uh, around the world they, they will be available next year so it's not uh, ready yet but the presentation is uh, receiving a very incredible welcoming people were speechless normally the reaction was uh, between the speechless astonished or confused because uh, for the first time we made something unique we passed the limit and this requests a lot of research and uh, many mistakes uh, were done but now we solve uh, all these technical issues the fragrances is uh, arriving in a special beautiful box uh, because uh, I don't know if you can spoil or not but probably could be nice uh, to have the experience Atlantis is made with one of the most precious and prohibited ingredients that is uh, tuberose. Tuberose was uh, forbidden by church uh, because uh, you are going to lose uh, your control, especially for sexual control. And uh, this is one of the absolute, that is coming from the collection of our grandfather, 50 years old of maturation of this incredible tuberose. The color of the ingredients is uh, in a strange yellow mystical in I can say and uh, the amber grease and the mask together makes a difference but because Atlantide is lost in the in the ocean for the first time in the world nobody has tried before Tiziana have overtaken herself she made something unique I would like to show you because I love Sebastian it's only for you I do this here we are the bottle is uh, deep in the ocean and it will be delivered like that. We made a special, a special pump uh, in order to be hermetic, so the water is uh, sea water, so salty water. It cannot be contaminated. The internal part, uh, there is no label, and the first time uh, you will see in the packaging, uh, the transparency, because it's engraved, the part of the, of the, with the name, because of course we cannot have a glue or leather or any kind of label that can be damaged. In the long time in, in the water, this part is made, the, the starfish uh, is made uh, with a technique of uh, jewelry technique, so it's a precious, precious gold, double gold plated in order to be protected. The gold doesn't stain uh, and don't have any kind of rubbish in, in the water. But what is important is that uh, you are going to have a total experience when you're going to take the, your uh, perfume for in the packaging because you have to go deep in the ocean, touch the water and all your senses will be involved. It's not only an experience, it's uh, more than, uh, than that. You are living uh, in a liquid emotion. So I hope that you will enjoy. It was a uh, very special. Now we have to close our world because uh, nobody has to spoil our idea. And uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And then I hope that we can uh, say it together one day when you are coming to visit me in Catolica and we take uh, my special boat uh, that is called Telea, by the way. And I would like to also mention this part. I made a perfume that is inspired by my old uh, ladies, that is Telea. And a very beautiful sailing boat. And I invite you to come and sail with me. Ciao! Hello, Sebastian. I'm really nice to meet you. I'm Yasmin Chayev. 
I'm the brand manager of Majuri Brand. So uh, Majuri uh, will be launched in a few weeks, so it's coming really soon. And um, Majuri is uh, the the name Majuri comes from Me. It means uh, water in Arabic, and Juri is a Damascus rose. Uh, why this reference to to Damascus? Because uh, the fund, the the creator of the brand uh, is from Syria. Uh, and uh, it's a multicultural brand associating uh, the Syrian culture to the French uh, traditional know-how in perfume. Uh, all the fragrances are made in France, uh, the components uh, come from, from France, the fragrance also of course, and, uh, and the fragrance are uh, made in France. So we have three collections. The first collection is um, with the black um, box. Uh, it's about the multicultural aspect of the brand. So we have all kind of uh, fragrance family. We have oriental, of course, but we also have really fresh. Uh, we have fruity, we have floral, we have um, fragrance for all the tastes. Um, concerning the price, it's um, 70 euros. And we have 10 reference uh, in this collection. The second collection is a private collection. So it's with the white box. Uh, it comes like this, and the transparent bottle. Uh, private collection is about um, magnifies the ingredient. So each fragrance um, is made with one particular ingredient. Um, so we have, for example, the rose, the tuberose, the sandalwood, um, and we have four references in this collection. And concerning the price, it's 90 euros. The third a collection is called Jour Collection. Jour in French means day. So why day? It's uh, the inspiration of the perfumer on, for example, uh, Jour 5. And Jour Collection is about customization uh, because the customer can choose the fragrance he wants. So he has a choice between four fragrances, Jour 5, Jour 8, Jour 9 and Jour 11. And he can choose also the bottle color he wants. So we have four bottle colors, red, blue, purple and green. And um, the bottles are fresh, fully uh, filled in uh, stores directly with uh, the Jour station which is here. So we just have to take the bottle and it's filled like this. It's uh, really easy and uh, it gives an experience to, uh, to the customer. And about the price, it's 125 euros. All the fragrances are refillable. So it's a sustainable um, aspect of the brand. So you just have to move the pump. And once your perfume is empty, you can buy a, a refill separately and put it directly in the bottle with this little funnel. Hello, so I'm Marie, Marie Kelou. I'm from Grasse. I'm creative director and I create a brand Maison Matine with Arthur Ponwa. Yes, uh, I'm brand manager of Maison Matine and we will launch a brand uh, together in one month in Paris. Maison Matine is a new brand with a collection of six fragrances. We have two of them here, which is uh, Warni Warni and uh, Azar Bazaar. There are two different stories. Warni Warni is about sharing, about uh, people who meet each other. There is no more boundaries. Azar Bazaar is about creativity. You have more and more passion. It can be sport, it can be fragrance, it can be whatever you want. So we made the stories. Uh, our designer made the, the illustration and the perfumer made uh, the fragrances corresponding to the illustration. Okay. And we want to be uh, ecologic, so we have a packaging which are uh, in paper, made in France without uh, cellophane. And um, the alcohol is bio, so in France, coming from the field of France. And for example, one one inside there is Maté to talk about this multicultural uh, uh, aspect when you meet someone, and also orange blossom to make it uh, warm and uh, welcoming. And for Azar Bazaar, it's more uh, as a second skin. We want you to express your creative spirit and personality. So you have uh, Ambrose and Musk, which will allow you to express yourself and a little bit um, 
of spice with uh, Sichuan pepper. So we are launching the brand uh, at the concept store, uh, famous Parisian concept store Flux in November. And after, in December, it will be uh, present in different uh, French uh, concept yes. stores. And after, all over the world. <laughs> all over the world in a few months, and it's 55 euros for 50 ml. And we would be very happy if you discover with us uh, the perfume, the new perfume brand. And the Instagram account. <laughs> and the Instagram account. Good morning, my name is Pierre, I'm the founder of L'Orchestre Parfum. L'Orchestre Parfum is the first fragrance band. It's not a brand, it's a music fragrance band. Why? Because we have now uh, six fragrances, musical fragrances, that has been uh, interpreted in music by six outstanding musicians. So for each fragrance, you can also smell it and listen to it. Now, we have also this disc that embodies all our six fragrances. I say six because we have a new one called Piano Santal. Piano Santal, it's about a dream I had. I was in my bed and I woke up inside the piano. So imagine you're in your white sheets, linen, smell of clean white sheets, and you have a vibrating piano all around you. So you can smell the Santal, you can smell the wood. You are a bit scared, but you are excited about it. And I went to see a perfumer, Jean Jacques, who is also a pianist, who created the fragrance of this amazing dream. Piano Santal is a woody, coconut, and very milky sandalwood fragrance. We had the amazing luck and privilege to have Edouard Ferlet, a great French pianist, do a song for us about Piano Santal. So don't hesitate to visit us and to listen to it. Et voilà. <laughs> Hi to everybody. My name is Mattia Bono and uh, I'm here in Cannes with Chabot Maison de Parfum. We are uh, hosted in this beautiful apartment just in front of the Palace of Exhibition where with other uh, colleagues from other niche uh, fragrances company we're introducing our novelties and meeting all the partners. So it's very nice to introduce you uh, our new fragrance. The first one I would like to talk about uh, is uh, Cedre Noble. It means Noble Cedar from Lebanon. It's a woody fragrance uh, uh, with very smoky accent dedicated to this beautiful and noble tree of Lebanon. Uh, we have been using uh, um, beautiful notes uh, uh, thanks uh, to the help of perfumer Stephanie Bakush. We have been collaborating with her specifically on this new fragrance for the first time. And we have also been working with Accord de Parfum to find uh, uh, the best essential oils because in this fragrance you will also find essential oils of pine. Then we have been using uh, notes of sandalwood, of course, cedar. And uh, overall, uh, let's say somehow it's the most male fragrance that we have in our collection. And uh, it has a lot of character. And I think. Uh, it will be very interesting to discover the new side of Chabot. The second fragrance that I would like to talk to you about is uh, Patchouli. This part of our uh, collection, uh, the name uh, Olfactive Landscapes, it comes with the golden cup and I call it Patchouli 1973. Why? Because Patchouli in the Western world is very much uh, uh, a fragrance that was very widely used in the early 70s. And from my parents' tale, when they got engaged, it was also the fragrance that they loved mostly. So I was inspired by the story to produce this one. And uh, uh, we had this idea of a sort of carefree spirit, a uh, sense of freedom, while we were in this patchouli that has notes that are very warm, because we, we have also been using uh, uh, some notes of vanilla, some amber, nutmeg. Uh, I would, uh, I would, I would be very curious to see what you think about because for us, uh, it's a very well done patchouli. Then the last fragrance I would like to introduce you is named Ambre du Rêve. Ambre du Rêve means uh, amber of the dreams. And it's the idea of amber we had in mind. Again, very warm, we wanted to transmit. Uh, it's an X-ray, so it's highly concentrated. Again, it has been produced uh, with Stephanie Matouche as a perfumer. She was the head perfumer of the team. And we wanted to give this idea of a very warm amber 
we have been using also some notes uh, of uh, sweet orange from Brazil and uh, vanilla, sandalwood, some cedar from uh, Lebanon also in this fragrance. So it's a very complex uh, um, fragrance, but at the same time, uh, the warm notes are the ones that you will immediately notice. So I would like to thank you very much for this brief introduction and I invite you to discover Shabu. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Gaines, founder and CEO of Strange Love Perfumes. This is Liz Schwartzberg, my, my protege, my confidant, my right hand <laughs> woman. Um, and we've been working together ever since we launched the company in 2014 at Herod's Salon de Parfum. We um, specialize in oud based perfumes. We have five scents. We always use two ouds, and then we add other rare and interesting ingredients, and that's sort of what we try to do. They're very unique and expensive ingredients, to be honest. Um, and our latest launch, we just had the exclusive is at Harrods Salon de Parfum for one month. It's called Fall Into Stars. Um, we use two ouds. You want to name some of the other ingredients that are in this baby? Rosewood, <laughs> henna flower. And we add them in to... And one of the, the, the hero ingredients is called uh, jonquil nectar, which is actually from the daffodil. Very rare, we had to source that one. And um, it's spicy and delicious. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, mmm. Can I smell? Yeah, it smell. So we are getting really great response from this one, which is exciting for us. Uh, this would be the fifth. We have we launched with Dead of Night that you may have heard of by now because it's quite well known for our concentration of oud. Melt My Heart is the next one. Uh, Silence the Sea, which has ambergris in it. So that's a really unique um, scent. And Lost in Flowers is like a bed of being in a bed of flowers. And the, do you want to talk a little bit about what's in Melt My Heart? Um, well, one of the most expensive ingredients in Melt My Heart is the orris butter, um, which comes from the heart of the iris flower. And it just, it's a very delicate ingredient, and I think that when Melt My Heart dries down, it gives it that really sort of delicate finish. Um, there is, of course, chocolate in Melt My Heart, so, you know, you kind of get a little hit of chocolate at the beginning, but as it dries down, it sort of melds with these other kind of floral ingredients, and it softens in a really nice way. And in the Lost in Flowers, we have an ingredient called red champaka, and I did some research, and that is known as the joy oil, because I wanted to make an uplifting floral that wasn't sweet. So we have the two ouds, and then we have the red champaka that is so beautiful, and a gardenia enfleurage, and we use the enfleurage technique. It was very difficult to find um, someone that still does enfleurage. Um, and then there's a little French moss in there that brings out the the green smell of the stem. So when you put that together and you want to layer it with Dead of Night, it makes something absolutely mm -hmm. exquisite. Each one on its own is amazing, but when you put the two together, it's really something else. Well, you can find us on Instagram at strangelovenny, and our website is strangelovenyc.com. And we're now in Cannes having an amazing time. There's the whole travel retail TFWA conference going on. And um, I hope that you get to try our scents. We make a little discovery set, so you could give it a little try first. And if you go on our website, you can see where we're for sale. And um, thank you for your time. Good evening or good afternoon or good morning to everybody. I'm Andrea Casotti from the House of Food. Uh, we are at TFW Evercount 2019, and we are launching our new idea of gourmand. After a key place, we are launching today What About Pop? where we have played a lot uh, turning around the concept of the salty popcorn, caramel and lunar flower. So this is for us a challenge because using the salty effect of the popcorn, it's, uh, we, were, we are really looking to express our way of enjoying the uh, celebration time. Uh, it can be Christmas, it can be birthday, it can be whatever, but the popcorn is a really high icon of uh, enjoying a time together. So a good, good, big goodbye for everybody and see you soon. Hi everyone, this is Axel de Nicolai. I'm, I'm here in Cannes for the 2019 TFWA event and I'd like to present you our latest launch that was launched in September, Baikal Leather. Baikal Leather Intense is a, a leather that's from, uh, um, that inspired by the Russian leather because Russian leather were uh, 
uh, used to treat the, the skin uh, of the leather with birch uh, essence and birch essence you find in biker leather. So it's a soft velvety leather that uh, I'm sure you will love to discover. Hi, my name is Pisara Umavishani. I'm the perfumer from Parfum Lusita. And now I'm in Cannes for Pack Free World Association Salon. And here I'm going to present you my new upcoming perfume inspired by the beauty of the lake and Thai architecture. This perfume is called Le Pavignon d'Or and it's the green accords of fig leaves, mint, frankincense, and it's a very unique and unusual perfume of peace of mind. I really hope that you will be able to try my new creation, which is totally different from the other Parfum du Sita perfume creation. So don't forget to come to visit my boutique. Hi everyone, I'm Leone from Pantheon Roma and we are here in Cannes, part of the Tax Free World Association exhibition and we are presenting some new fragrances and one new from Pantheon that is on the market since one year and is still our uh, new bestseller, new famous one. It's named Anone, it's in the white bottle, typical white bottle in Pantheon. And this is a fragrance that is quite amazing. It's the first time that Pantheon work on an oud fragrance. So you remember all our range linked to a Renaissance Italian love story. And this is the first time that we release a oud fragrance blended with mango, so with a tropical fruit note and tops, and with some iris and some saffron. So it's quite oriental, very powerful and very elegant indeed. And I'm looking forward to you to look at the review of Sebastian and know more about Pantheon. See you soon. And we are here also to introduce this new brand named Nose. Nose is a new line, Nose Habitat Essence. It's a new line of home fragrances and textile sprays, textile perfumes. This is something very new and revolutionary because of the formula that contains a fabric softener with the intense fragrance itself in a very, very nice technical formula. So you will find it soon available everywhere in the world with that uh, home fragrances and diffusers, plus the textile sprites with you. So keep in touch with Nose at Nose.it and follow all the reviews for that. Hello everybody, I'm Alessandro from Mas Milano. Nice to meet you. We are here in the stunning location of Cannes on Boulevard de la Croisette for the Tax Free Show. And I'm uh, uh, presenting two novelties of my brand Mask Milano. Uh, before introducing the novelty, let's, uh, let me remind you very briefly who we are. Uh, me and Ricardo, my partner, we are two Italian creators for a brand that has the inspiration in the musical opera. Our fragrances are organized in scenes, exactly like in a musical opera. And at the past show of Exans in Milano, we launched the 11th and 12th fragrance of the collection, which are completing the act of inner monologues and the act of love. The inner monologues is an act of spiritual fragrances. This one is called Kintsugi. It's inspired by the Japanese art of mending broken ceramic with gold. And uh, our endeavor was to repair a broken formula, the ship, with new gold uh, glue. And the 12th fragrance in the line is Love Kills, created by Caroline Dumour. It's a rose soliflora, which is concluding the act of love. You have to try them, especially you have to try them on skin, because their result uh, is at best when you see how they perform on your own skin. For the 10th year celebration of my company, we are reformulating two fragrances that were already in the line and uh, created in 2009. The first pieces were sold on April the 1st, 2010. So we are introducing this line now and this will go on sale on April the 1st, 2020. The names of the two fragrances are names of women, but also names of places. One is Dolce Acqua. Dolce Acqua is a tiny little medieval village on the Italian Riviera. And the inspiration is one lady that is sophisticated, elegant, and is enjoying the Dolce Vita on the Riviera. The nose behind this creation is Delphine Thierry, 
which already created uh, fragrances for the previous line. The second fragrance we are launching is called Petra and is inspired by a mysterious woman in the somewhere in the Middle East, uh, enticing you to play hide and seek in the souk with spices, with incense and with patchouli. The nose behind this fragrance is Cecile Zarokian, which already created the uber sensual best-selling fragrance, Tango. So we have two fragrances inspired by women, created by women, and uh, I, uh, targeting a female audience. So we are calling this new line Le Donne di Mask, Masks Women. The line will have these two special issues in limited edition, but will add other female created fragrances in the years to come. So look forward to smell these and uh, of course uh, they have been introduced in the market and for the time being Arrivederci. See you soon. Uh, so, hello, I'm Sophie Dupont. I'm the marketing manager of Panouche Company. And uh, I would like to introduce you to our new collections. First of all, I'd like to remind you that Panouche Paris is a company which has different brands. Jacques Fats, Isabe Paris, uh, Masaki Matsushima, but also our own brand Panouche Paris. And we wanted to continue the saga of the selective part of Panouche Paris, which is here. Uh, and to position uh, our brands under the niche segments. And um, this is the ID, the aim of the creative director, Rania Naim, to go to this, um, to create this collection. Matia Lips, which means freedom of raw materials in English, uh, is created by young perfumers because we wanted to use their freshness, uh, their freedom of spirit, their freedom of creativity uh, into these collections. So four lines created by Miles from Company, Patrice Revillard and Marie Schneider. Um, as you can see from the names of each bottles, um, the major ingredients are um, used for the names of the lines. These collections will be launched uh, in early 2020, so this is a preview here in Canada. So the first one, Patchouli Fig, is a creation of Marie Schneider. The name Patchouli Fig is um, an evocation to summer, to summer moments. So imagine that you are looking at a garden, there is a young lady painting in this garden, the sun is at its highest and there is no clouds in the sky. And she's painting a basket of fruit, um, which is so realistic that you can almost smell the, the, the smell of the figs and the pears. And the um, patchouli fig is about that. I was going to open it. <laughs> patchouli fig is about that. It's a one side a contrast of patchouli sprinkled by cocoa and on the other side there is fig, um, fig leaves and uh, milk, milky fig and also um, pears which is very which are very juicy. So it's sunny, warm and textured. The second one is called Datura Amaretti. So the name evokes immediately a sensual kernel fragrance and it's a creation of Patrice Revillard. And uh, Datura, you know, it was a poisonous flower used by Catherine de Medici uh, to poison her enemies or her lover. And this endangered flower, this poisonous flower, is what Patrice wanted to explore, but he wanted to play with the gourmand facet of Amaretti. So Datura Amaretti is about the Datura flower, a bitter almond, cherish, mandarin, and also a specific gourmand and crunchy biscuit accord. Then the third one is called Prune Immortel. The name sounds like a love declaration, a message that will have been written by, uh, on, by ink on paper. And for Patrice Revillard, the perfumer, it's, um, the plum color is a very complex, modern and dense. And this is what he wanted to translate into this fragrance. So he used the fresh plum notes together with the liquor of plum. And there is a touch of uh, white flower spiced with saffron. And there is also the contrast of the dry immortel. So you know it's uh, both fresh, juicy, honeyed, but um, catch up by the dryness of the immortal flower. Something very unusual. 
And the last one is called Berry Soubois. Berry Soubois, the name sounds like a song that uh, you sing after a walk in the forest and you have very uh, happy, cheerful, joyful and uh, it's a cascade of fruity uh, red fruit notes. And this is what Marie Schneider, the perfumer, wanted to recreate in this fragrance. Um, the, the gourmandise of red fruit, raspberry, gooseberry, violet also, together with the uh, undergrowth accord. So it's a uh, mossy, woody notes together in that uh, composition, which create delicacy and joyfulness. So I, I'm looking for your, forward for you to discover soon this new collection, this uh, artistic collection, which is really a sign of total freedom, a sign of um, yes, total freedom and expression of creativity given to young perfumers. Hello, I am Shad Shamra from Fragrance de Bois. We are here in Cannes for a couple of days for the TFWA, and we have the uh, pop-up store here in the Carlton Hotel. Uh, we are introducing our new range of fragrances which represent the fashion uh, cities of the world, fashion capitals. And we're going to start with New York Fifth Avenue. We see New York at two, two cities, the uh, New York summer and the New, new York winter. Uh, we'll start with Fifth Avenue, which, uh, which is how, this is how we see New York in winter. A warm, beautiful, sweet fragrance and it represents the city in our eyes. This is how we see it in winter. Hopefully the New Yorkers and all the, the world will like this new fragrance. It is built about woody notes, sweet notes. We used the, the uh, uh, Gaillac wood in it. We used the top note, the bergamot note, and we used the caramel note, which makes it very, very sweet, especially uh, with the use of the amber in the base note. We're going to move now to the other New York, the summer in New York. It's a totally different fragrance, very woody, very spicy. We used wood here and we, we used olibanum, labdanum. Uh, it opens up with citrus notes and uh, cin uh, cinnamon at the top note, also cardamom. It makes it a spicy, a bit spicy, but very fresh. Then you move to the woody notes in the, in the heart and the base of the fragrance. It is very, very long lasting and this is how we see New York in summer. And now we will cross the Atlantic to the other part in Europe, in Milano, which is one of the fashion capitals of the world. Milano for us is a fresh city. Uh, leather is like one of the fingerprints in Milano. So we went for a fruity note, citrus, and we use the leather note. Uh, it gives us a very, very fresh fragrance which represents Milano in the way that we see it. Milano is made of Sicilian bergamot, a bit sweet, the Sicilian bergamot. Then it moves to fruity notes and lavender, and then very woody notes in the, in the base. But it keeps its freshness and sharpness which comes from leather. And now we go. We, we went to a new amber style fragrance because uh, when you say amber, it is either animalic note or sweet notes. Uh, we have this creation from our friend perfumer Christian Carbonell, and he made something very new. This is one of the best amber that I have smelled in my life. It opens with uh, fresh notes and spicy. It comes from cardamom and bergamot at the top note. Then it moves to sort of woody notes, very sophisticated notes in the heart and the base note, which makes it a really different frag uh, amber fragrance, especially with the use of the leather. It is very unique, very new amber, and very fresh amber, which is new. And we know that cannabis is trending, especially in the fragrance industry, so we came up with cannabis blue and we have another cannabis, cannabis intense. Uh, the cannabis note here is a very minimal, uh, it is not so green, it is woody, spicy. We used a hint of wood oil in this one, yet we used a, bi a bigger wood oil accord than the, the Cannabis Intense. This one is fresh, spicy, woody, very woody, and it is Cannabis Blue. Now, Siberian Rose. We wanted to create a fragrance for Russia, and then we came up with the name of Siberian Rose. We see Siberia White. And you know that our Russian clients, they go always for sweet and white floral notes. So we built this fragrance, Siberian Rose, around the tuberose. 
uh, we didn't use jasmine here. We, we balanced the tuberose with white rose and we added a leathery note to it. So it gives it a bit of sharpness that is added to the top note, uh, the, the cinnamon top note. In the base note, we use a lot of amber and woody notes, patchouli, uh, which uh, created a kind of synergy between all the uh, other acres that includes the white rose and, and two rose. So this is Siberian rose for Siberia, the white, very white fragrance, very fresh, very sweet. We hope that you all come and discover our fragrances. Thank you very much for watching and thank you, Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. Uh, so I'm here in Cannes today uh, to present the my brand, which is Miles Wombo perfumes from Paris. I'm half American and half French. My mother is from Paris, from Boston. My father was from Boston. And uh, so I met a couple of wonderful people, um, which are Pierre Dinan, the most famous bottle designer for perfume. He designed Opium, uh, Eternity, Calvin Klein, whatever, very much. And also I work, I met this beautiful Perfumers were well, Dominique Ropion, who created La, La Vie est Belle, for instance, but also for, he's working for Frédéric Ma, and uh, Jean-Louis Chazac, and uh, we work together uh, very closely and very friendly uh, to create uh, new perfumes uh, who just have some lots of backgrounds. And uh, the inspiration is coming from a mix between art visible heart and visible heart so we find a commitment that through my the expression of my paintings they uh, worked on the fragrances so we come to these five uh, fragrances who are in fact illustrated with uh, original painting on the background this is the watercolor you can see here for instance it's another one you I have it here and can also present it today. And um, these five fragrances are very different from each other, very specific. Uh, lots of uh, natural ingredients as well, yes. I'm working with the Laboratoire Monique Rémy in, in Grasse, which is very, very well known, and uh, who provide us the best uh, ingredients we can have. The shape of the bottle is uh, very specific as well. Some people say that it reminds them some building from the 30s. Others say it's like a cigar, um, uh, or even maybe it's for a gun or whatever. So this is the. It's a specific bottle, and. Um, Five different colors or five different fragrances. I will present you. So this is my workshop. And as a, in fact, I'm, I'm a painter. I've been uh, in Le Louvre uh, in Paris. I was born in Paris. I've uh, studied in Le Louvre from the age of 13 because that was really my way of expression. Then I've done the uh, art school in Paris, which is very well known. So this is me. And uh, of course, like I said, I mentioned these wonderful people who are Pierre Dinan, Dominique Ropion, and Jean Luc Sezac. They have done the most well known and su success uh, fragrances. And then you have the different paintings. To um, get closer to one of the fragrances, to understand exactly what was in my mind, and still in my mind, is we'll take uh, Son of a Girl. Son of a Gun is an expression, American expression, that you know, of course, and it's coming back from the 19th century, from the Royal Navy in England. And uh, in fact, the, the, the people who are going to fight on a boat uh, in the 19th century could have a relation or could bring their girlfriend on the deck of the boat. And the, sometimes some children well, appearing later on, and we call them son of a gun. So, in fact, this is very, it's a leather accord. It smells a bit like the gunpowder as well. And I will show it to you. We have also into it. So this is the, the bottle, yeah, which is very special. Yes, okay. We have also in this uh, bottle with patchouli, 
cedar, amber, and um, the top note is uh, the pink paper. So this is the um, the box. So the box you can close it like this, and then which is very luxurious box. And this is the product. Thank you for watching and thank you, Sebastian. Hello, I'm Gianluca Azzi. I'm the owner of the Netson 8020 Fragrance Deluxe brand. And I'm here to present the, the brand and the, the grey velvet. Uh, the brand um, starts from a different view of Venice. And uh, a, a Venice that talks about history, about heart, and uh, it's not the typical way to narrate Venice. So um, I want to uh, talk about the, the bottle. Uh, the inspiration starts from um, 1920, so the Art Nouveau era, and that's why we um, uh, use this kind of line. The shape is very, very uh, straight because the inspiration takes place from uh, that era. Um, here we can talk about uh, Grey Velvet, that is a fig note based uh, perfume, it's the best seller. And um, is, uh, the inspiration of this perfume start from a foggy day in Venice. Uh, then uh, the second one, we have five fragrances, four that is already in the market. The next, uh, the, the, the fifth will come uh, very, very sooner in December. That is a floral white fragrance. And um, we talk about the Lido. Lido is the second fragrance that the name uh, takes place from the famous uh, beach in Venice. Uh, it's a very very fresh fragrance, uh, bergamot and uh, lemon, uh, but it's also woody. So it's uh, fresh but warm. And uh, uh, the bottle is blue because we want to talk about the sea, we want to talk about a uh, sunny day in Venice. I hope you can uh, get, discover my fragrance very soon and thanks, thanks for watching and uh, see you very soon. Hello, this is Joan Madeo. Uh, we are here in Cannes at TFWA. I want to introduce our new collection, Black Collection. Uh, I will show you. Here we have fresh wood with natural wood from Laos. Uh, this is a recreation of uh, wood from Laos with uh, very musky notes, a lot of woody notes, very dry. Uh, you can smell it perfectly, the natural wood inside. Here you have a sweet rose, it's a, a natural rose from Bulgaria. Uh, very sweety, very fruity and very musky. And here we have the incense wood, very woody with incense herb inside. And this is our new collection.